Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I already discussed about that things with you, how can add that bootstrap material design. And also I created one of the file as a main blade.php, footer blade.php and the neighbor blade.php. And also I updated path for the all the CSS and also for the JSS. So I hope you can well understand about it, how can update your that path. And in this video, I want to segment all that page. Like here, if you access that page, like that is our Laravel by default, one of the page. So this page is actually comes from our views and that is a welcome blade. So that the welcome blade is now visible by default on particular that position. So now I want to update it like here, if you select all and if you remove all the things from here and now if you click on the save all and now if you click on the refresh, now you can see it's now become blank. So how can segment all the page? So that is the main core things that you should know. Okay, like that is our blade.php. And in our blade.php here, I want to do, I want to add it, our this main blade on particular that position. Okay, because here I want to segment it. Like first doing this, first of all, here you have to write down as the extends. And here I just define extend and extend which file. I want to load that file, that means the main blade. So in our main blade, there is a layouts folder and after that layout, that is a main. So now we have to write down that things on here as a layouts dot and then main. So I just define our main file on here. Okay. And also after that, I want to do, I want to add one of the section. Like here, I just define as a section. And here I into the section, I define one of the uh, ID as a contained. Okay, I just define one of the ideas a contain and I have to do I have to and it so I just and that section so I just define that and section on here and for better understand here I just take one of the h1 tag and here I just defining it as a home page okay like here I just define as a home home page so I just define one of the h1 tag on particular that position and now here I just extend all layout main dot blade. So now in particular that position, I also want to include it, our neighbor and also the footer. Like here in particular that area, I include it like as a at the rate include. Okay, I just define include and also here you have to define that URL path. Like here I have to define that layout. Okay, into the layouts here, I created that file as a neighbor. Okay, I just define as a neighbor on particular that position and also I want to include our another one. So that is on the footer. So here I just defining it uh, like as the include. And then I also want to lay added that in our layout folder. And then our footer. Okay, I just loaded our footer. So our neighbor and the footer will be the same for our every pages. But I only want to make one of the part as a dynamic, like that is actually contained. So for the reasons here, I just define one of the part as a contained. So this contained part will be the dynamic because if you go to create the about us page, into the about us page, the, our header part will be the same. That means the neighbor will be the same and the footer will be the same. Only in our inside that contained will be changed. So for that, if you want to make the things dynamic, so I want to add one of the other things. Like here, which part will be the dynamic? You have to defining it on here. So if you want to do that work, you have to define as yield. Okay, so yield part will be the dynamic. And here I just define one of the ideas a contain. So right now I have to do, I have to define that part as a contain. So only this contain part will be dynamic. For the reasons I just define as a wide. And include, I just include the our neighbor. So neighbor will be the same for the every pages and footer also will be the same for the every pages. So I will show you, then it should be very much clear to you. Like here, I already included our neighbor and the footer. So that is our footer page and the neighbor. So right now I want to add some of the script from our MD5 here. Like here, there is MD bootstrap. And if you go here, and here if you find out one of the neighbor from here like if you go to that contain uh, not into the contain there is a component into the component here into the navigation and into the navigation here you can see there is actually the neighbor so now i just select as a neighbor 
and here you can see that is actually the neighbor all that uh, design pattern on here so now i want to do so like that is actually one of the neighbor it's automatically ready made all the things so right now i just copy that code okay so i just copy whole code from here i just copy it and now in our neighbor i paste it okay so that's all the demo data and also there are another one like i just also want to take the footer part like there is a footer so footer will be just like that it's automatically ready made all the code okay so for now i just copy it and now in our footer part i paste it okay literally i will customize it i will show you so now i just added some of the footer on particular that board on particular that position and also i added the nav bar on particular that position and that is our main blade and in our main blade i included our dev bar part our layout part and into the central position that is a contain and contain will be the dynamic for the reason so i just make the things as a yield and in our home page here i just defining that layout okay and here into this position i just segment one of the contain and here there is our h1 tag so now let's check this out if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page like here i just refresh it yes now you can see now that is our neighbor part and that is our footer part and that is our el part that is the contain id here i just defining it on here so for the every pages our neighbor will be the same footer will be the same and here you can see i just defining it when you access that welcome plate and here i just extend that page that means the layout main so for right now that is the page is loaded and into this page i just include the our layout neighbor so for the reasons here you can see there is a layout our neighbor is added on here and also i add include the footer part so footer part is also loaded on particular that position and here i just define one of the page content id so there's our el part that means this will be the dynamic for the every pages and for the every pages this part will be the change okay so now here i just define one of the h1 tag we dig into this section and here that is actually the visible on particular that position i hope you can well understand about it how much easily you can design one of the page with using the bootstrap material design okay so now i want to do i want to actually customize it right now i don't need all that things okay so now that is our neighbor so if you now go to that neighbor and in our neighbor here there is all the features so right now i want to actually i don't need that drop down so here there is actually the drop down so i just minimize it and i just remove it from here and also they have one of the search like here there is a search so i also don't need this uh that is actually the form so i just remove that things from here and that is i only want to take one of the one field like here i just take one of the field as a add new okay so here i just want to add new and now i also don't need this so for now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page yeah now you can see everything is gone there is a home and there is another button as a add new perfect so from to this position i just want to create one of the page so i will do that things later and now here i just define the easy learning okay i just define as the easy learning and now if you click on the save all and if you now refresh it yeah perfect now you can see that is like easy learning there is a home page and there is another page as the add new and for the footer right now we don't need that type of things okay i want to actually minimize it so go to the footer blade and into the footer blade uh, so that's all that part we don't need this okay like that is actually the one of the tapes so i just select that tape and now i just remove that tape and here uh, there's some of the link i just remove it and here i just put my side okay so is learning bd.com and here i just define as easy learning So here I just define as the easy learning. I just put as a 19. So I customize our footer part. Now let's check this out. I just click on the save all, and now I just refresh it. Yeah, perfect. Now you see there is our neighbor part. That is our footer part. So better I just put some of the hairy like bracket like here. That is our in particular that position. That in this section. Right now I just put some of the break. Okay. 
so here I just put some of the break and now it will save all refresh it yeah perfect so as I told you this navbar will be the static for the every pages so the footer will be the static for the every pages only this part will be the change like when you create the create page then it will be very much clear to you so our neighbor and footer will be the same and only the content part will be the updated so i hope it's very much clear to you how much easily with using that bootstrap material design you can create it and that is actually empty bootstrap you as i told you you get all the materials from to this position so if you want to use any component from here you can use it so right now i'm using the footer part and also the neighbor and now it's now perfectly visible on here so in our next video i will show you how you can create the database and how you can configure it so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video